What's up guys? This is Rory from RoryCodes.com and it's Tasker Tip Tuesday. Quick tips to help grow your Tasker knowledge. This week I'd like to discuss how to use Tasker's lock code feature. Adding a lock code to any of its components, whether it's a scene, a task, a profile, or a project, or even Tasker itself, it's simple to use and easy to set up. I'll show you how it's done. But before we begin, guys, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these Tasker Tip Tuesdays videos. And share it with a friend if you're so kind. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, guys, let's start by opening Tasker. And we'll go to the top right corner, hit that three-dot menu, Preferences. From there, we'll make sure you're in the UI section. Scroll all the way down to the UI lock area, and you'll see the lock code input section. From there, you can enter your code, and you have up to 15 digits. For this example, we will use one five times. That's our lock code. So as we back out of the preferences menu, we will be greeted by a warning, a final warning from Tasker. We'll select OK. And now we can use the lock feature. So what I'll do is I'll back out of Tasker, open it up one more time just to make sure it was saved. Now we can lock a task. So you can only lock named tasks. So in this case, I've created a dummy task appropriately named. Long press, select the menu button, and lock. Now, you should not be able to open this task unless you enter the correct code, hence the lock icon. So if I try to open it, I'm greeted with the lock, uh, enter lock code screen. So I'll try a bad code, which I know does not work, and I'll say bad code. Let's try it one more time, and we'll enter the correct code. Five ones, and there you are. So simple way to lock a task. A profile will be the same way. Long press on the profile and you can lock it in just the same way. Right now it, it is unlocked so we should be able to go into it. However, once we back out of Tasker and enter it again, we will be greeted with a lock screen and we'll have to, we will have to enter the lock code again. So another reason, another another place we would have to enter the lock code would be to get into the preferences menu. So again, I'll back out of Tasker, open it up one more time, and like I said, you'll, you're greeted with a lock icon instead of the unlock. So if I try to go to preferences, I should have to enter the code. Yep. Once there. Entering the right code will bring me to the preferences screen. And now just to be safe, I will remove the lock code. Just by clearing it and backing out, saves everything. Now if you notice, you'll still see a lock icon. However, you, you won't have to input this next time you want to enter the task. And just to be safe, we will close out a tasker and open it back up again. And just like I said, you should be able to get into any locked item because the lock code does not exist. So just to make things simple, we'll, we will remove the lock codes. I'm sorry, the lock code icons and should be back to normal. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you learn, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you learned something, leave a comment below saying, hey, I didn't know about this feature, or hey, this is a useful feature, or hey, I hated this feature. Why did you even make this video? Anything helps, guys. If you want to see more of the Tasker Tip Tuesdays series, I'll leave some links in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next Tasker Tip Tuesday.